For more free African history resources, please go directly to our website or click the links below. The Ethiopian Invasion of Mecca, Part 1 The Ethiopian Invasion of Mecca refers to a historical event when the Ethiopian Empire, also known as the Aksumite Kingdom, entered the city of Mecca in Arabia. Ethiopia is one of the oldest countries in the world and dates back many thousands of years. Ethiopia was also known as Abyssinia. The Kingdom of Aksum, also known as the Aksumite Empire, was based primarily in what is now northern Ethiopia and spanning modern-day Eritrea, Djibouti, and southern Sudan. It extended at its height into much of southern Arabia and Yemen. The Aksumite Kingdom was a Christian African empire. The Ethiopian ruler Abraha, also known as Abriha, and also known as Abraha al-Ashram, came to power after 500 AD and was an Ethiopian Christian viceroy of Yemen in southern Arabia. A viceroy is an official who reigns over a region in the name of and as the representative of the monarch of the territory. Abraha ruled much of present-day Arabia and Yemen from around 531 AD to 547 AD. A zealous Christian himself, he built a great church at Sana'a and repaired the principal irrigation dam at the Sabean capital of Marib. Sana'a was located in the region of modern-day Yemen, and Marib was also located in Yemen. The church which Abraha built, which was also known as Al-Khalisa, was constructed from green, yellow, white, and black stone, which was brought from an older castle located at Marib. Leading to the church was a marble staircase, while the door was made of bronze and copper. The church combined three separate architectural elements known as Beit, Iwan, and Kuba. Iwan and Kuba consisted of mosaic ornamentation of floral motifs and gold star for the former, and polychrome mosaic crosses, silver and gold for the latter. Now, Du Nuas was a Jewish king from the region of modern-day Yemen who was known especially for his ferocious persecution of the Christians. He was also known as He of Sidelocks. Du Nuas launched military operations against the Ethiopian Christians and their local Arab Christian allies. Such incidents, which were also mentioned in the Quran in chapter 85 in Surah al baruj evoked great sympathy throughout the neighboring Christian regions and prompted an Aksumite, or Ethiopian, military intervention supported by their Aksumite fleet. In the Quran, within Surah al baruj which means the great stars or the constellations, the chapter refers to the people of the ditch. The people of the ditch refers to the people who were thrown into a ditch and set afire due to their belief in God or Allah. Abraha was reported to have led his army of 100,000 men to successfully crush all resistance by the Yemeni army. And then, following the suicide of Du Nuas, seized power and established himself at Sana'a, one of the largest cities in Yemen at the time. Abraha is chiefly famous, however, for the military expedition that he led northward against the city of Mecca in the same year as Muhammad's birth, in about 570 AD. Abraha would become well known for the invasion of Arabia.